Well, well, well. Look what the jungle down drug in. Who is prominent? Yeah. They moved into town last week. Into the old plantation house in the middle of town on top of the hill. I was trying to figure out who was trying to fix that place up. I guess that's them. Well, heard that's supposed to bring a lot of jobs into town to help their way out. That don't matter. That don't matter to me none. You can't legally make them leave. But they're going to wish they never moved out here. I still don't know why we're moving out here. This just doesn't make any sense to me. I... I know you've explained it several times, but... It still just doesn't add up. I mean, what's... what's the point? The point is this building. The point is this forsaken piece of land that's called a town. The point is this stinking area where these quote-unquote people live. That's the point. This house. This, this building that we're standing in. This floor that we're standing on. It's the same floor that my ancestors were beaten on as slaves. This used to be a plantation home. That's why we bought it. Tore down everything but the studs. Just as a reminder, not to us, but to them that there's going to be a change in this society, a change in this community. It wasn't an accident that we bought this house. It wasn't an accident that we moved part of our company out here. I did all this to send a message to them, loud and clear. That might be the message you're sending to them. But what about the message you're sending to our daughter? To our children. I mean, I love you with all my heart. And I promised you for better or for worse. But if we're the ones causing the worse, is it really worth it? Is it? Killer doesn't need to know about this. She's a child. She wouldn't understand. I think she would. Kayla. How long have you been standing there? Daddy? Do we hate those people? No, 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 sweetie. It's not like that at all. It, it's... Then... Then what is it? It's complicated. Okay? Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be alright. Will it? So long do you think this is going to take? I mean, we've been waiting and pretty much sending all this stuff up for months. I mean, it's, it's just taking a little bit too long. We've been out here for a week. The factory's pretty much set up. Our house is set up. We just need the raw materials to start business. Yeah, yeah, I hear you out there. I, I hear what you're saying, but uh, the kind of business that you want to start it, it requires a lot of raw material that, that's not that easy to come by. I mean, this is not going to be something that can be done overnight. It, it's going to take some time. We, we're talking at least a year or something along those lines. A year? What do you mean a year? That doesn't even add up. We've got all the machinery. we got the people in place. All we need is the raw material. Why would it take a year just to get the raw material? Well, it's not the raw material in and of itself, but it's the kind of material that you're wanting, though. That, that's, that's the kicker right there. It's, it's something that is just really hard to obtain, especially in that amount. So listen, bro. I don't care how rare this stuff is, okay? We got the money. We know where it is. And we know how to get it. So I won't hear any more excuses, no more reasons for why it's hard to get or how long it's going to get here. 
Well, well, I, I hear you now. Um, I got uh, a couple of other folks, other businesses lined up here that we could look through. I mean, we've been through quite a few of them. Um, but we could probably look through the other ones again together. Does that sound like a plan to you? Because you in charge. Hello? Are they, you there? Hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still here. I, I'm hearing you. Um, uh, that, uh, that sounds, sounds like a good idea. Now, now this right here is the situation, Ade. As I mentioned prior, the raw material is, is kind of hard to access. Now, we got, we got a few places that I've been looking into that, that may have what you need now. Now, there's a place in Vancouver, I think, I think that's somewhere up in Canada, where they have that material that you can have. You okay, son? That's my bar right now, you hear me? Uh, go get Jedi right now. Get right now! But Jedi, what did I just tell you? What a day, what a day, what a day. You will, honey, you will not believe the kind of day I've had. I mean, it's just been crazy. I mean, I've been talking to Ross pretty much. And uh, just trying to get everything in perspective, get all of our shipment in so we can start this company, or the branch of this company, our company, the White Ray, in this state, in this county. But these people, they don't know what they're in for. They don't, they don't know what's going to happen. They don't know the, the bombshell that's going to drop on this county just to wake these people up. Basically, they don't know who they're dealing with, but they're going to know. Because I've got something in store for all of them. Big time. No joking around. No messing around. This is going to be big. Now, I've had my patience. I mean, I know we've just been here for, for a week or so, but it's, uh, things are going to change pretty drastically. Drastic changes, big time, in this state, in this county, very soon. Please, Lord. Please. I don't, I don't know what to do. I... It's only you can trust in. I don't want... I don't want this hatred in my family. I don't want this hatred around my daughter, around any of our children. I, I need your help, Lord. Please. Please help my husband get past his own hatred for people. Please, Lord, open up his eyes. Please. Please, Lord, I just don't know what else to do. I can only trust, trust what you tell me to do, and you, you've told me to stay with him. I just don't want this, this evil, this, this, this foul attitude in, in, in my family, around my daughter, or in, my, in my husband, or in me. Please, Lord, help, help us, help me, please.
Well, I, I finally got my appendix pulled out. I, I don't know why it took so long, though. I mean, I was waiting for that thing to come out, for them to take it out for the, the like the past three weeks. <laughs> They're probably trying to milk you for as much money as they could. Probably gonna save them a lot of time. Cause I ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> well, forget about all that. Anybody see the new hide that just moved into town? Looks like they're gonna try to take over or something. Now that's something that's not gonna happen on my watch. No way in the world we're gonna let them take over our town, take over our people. We gotta stand up for what we know is right, and keep it that way. Well, how are we supposed to do that, Jeb? I mean, they got enough money to buy this town and everybody in it time and time over and over again. We can't stand up against something like that. We ain't got the kind of money that they got. But we got our own way of handling things out here. Boy, they ain't gonna never forget. By the time we're done with them, they move back to this town ever again. Damn, all they kind. Hey, there's my little Ododo. How was school today? Uh, hi, Mom. It, it's okay. I'm still trying to get used to it. Yeah, I know, sweetie. I know you miss your friends from your old school, but you just have to take it day by day. It's gonna all work out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Has your daddy called yet? Yeah. Yeah, he, he called a few minutes ago. He said he's still at the warehouse. Or something like that. He, he said he'll be home in a little bit. Well, that's good. He said he had a big shipment coming in today, and Ross was going to be at the warehouse to help him out. So what do you do, a little pumpkin? Have you already got something to eat? No, not yet, Mom. I haven't got anything to eat. I'm just listening to some of my music. Well, when you do get hungry, there's spaghetti in the microwave. And make sure you're not listening to anything bad, pumpkin. It's always got to be good, positive stuff. Okay, I'm not. Okay, Mom is going to do a little bit of shopping before I come home. See you in a little bit. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Hey, honey. How's it going at the warehouse? It's going pretty good. It's just myself and Ross here. So basically just putting everything away as best as we can to get it up, cut it off the floor before we hire some people locally to come and put everything where it's supposed to be. How's the thing going with you? Everything's been going pretty good today. You know, it still takes a bit of time getting used to all this, the new place and new people. But that's just a part of life. I just spoke to Kayla. She just got off from school, so she's getting used to it too. Yeah, just spoke to Kayla also. It's a day-by-day -day process. But that's part of life, that's part of, part of the, the, the experience, part of just having fun. And experiencing new things. So that's, that's the good thing about our situation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, about to head into the store and do some shopping. You know, that's part of my... My relief package, so to speak. But yeah, I'll I'll see you when uh when we get home. Okay, sounds good. We'll be here for a few more minutes, but uh, as soon as we're done here, I'll be heading home too. Okay, love you. Love you too.
Sure was getting mighty windy. Yeah. Looks like it's about to rain something fierce. But they ain't saying nothing about no rain. It's supposed to be clear skies all night. Nobody know how. Uh, it's just a little rain, y'all. Ain't no water to kill nobody before. Guess you ain't never read the good book then. <laughs> Ah, uh, just stop your lollygagging. Let's get back to what we were doing. This storm's probably gonna pass over us pretty soon now anyway. I guess he was right. Look, it stopped raining. Hmm. Seems like the wind's dying down a bit. Y'all hear that? It's not like the trains are coming. There ain't no train right here for miles. Oh, no. I don't know, man. Well, let's get about here. I can, I can only really stand up, man. I can, I can only really breathe. Hmm. How about you say calm? Just. The ground. Stay calm. We're about to die. What do you mean you're feeling? You're nowhere. Ain't no way we'll make time for you. Ain't no way at all. I'm all right, Addy. What about you? You all right? Oh. 
Where, where in the world did that storm even come from? Uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Let me call. Oh, oh man, there's no signal. Don't worry about me, ID. I'm fine. Go check up on your family. Go! How's he doing? He ain't doing too good. We gotta get him some help. Get him some help quick. That ain't the only thing that ain't doing too good. Business we gotta attend to. No, 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 no. Kila. 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 Just came to help. What? What are you saying, boy? Please, please help us. Our door's stuck underneath all this rubble, and we can't get her out. You best not take another step. That's a kid underneath all that rubble, Jeb. A kid. Ain't no way I'm gonna let a kid die. You know that better than anybody. And you may be on your way to hell, Jeb, but I ain't going with you. Even if you wanted to. Ain't no way we're going to pull all this stuff out of here. It's just too heavy for us to move by ourselves. All right. Everybody take off your robes. 
What? You know we can't do that. Just do it. What are you doing? After what happened to Jerry tonight, if I can save somebody else's life, I will. Not time in the end. Quick. Thank you.